is they will take a frequency, like a range of um, values, and then how often it occurs in that range. So they did zero to five hours. So apparently there are six numbers that fall between zero and five. Did you find six numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six numbers that fell between 0 and 5. How many numbers fell between 12 and 17? Three. Three. How many numbers fell between 6 and 23? Five. Wait. Oh, wait. Never mind. Wait. What? Six and 23. Nine. Between 6 and 23, that's a. I had 5, 8, 9. Okay, so trick question, but they like to trick you like that. So that's a frequency table. This is always in a range, and how many, it's kind of like a tally chart, and how many times it occurs. Histograms is just like normal bar graphs. They used the frequencies and did the normal bar graph as so. We know how, surely you know how to read a bar graph by now. Hopefully. Okay. Then. I don't feel like we need to extremely go into that. We could understand how to read this. We good? Yes. Okay. The other one is a little, not confusing, it's just different. It's a line plot. What a line plot is, is is just like a line graph. So what I'm going to do, where does my number start? Zero, Zero and it goes through, 22. what's my largest, 22? 22. Okay, I'm going to make a line graph that involve all these numbers, so I'm going to start at zero. Do I want to count by ones every time? No. Probably not. I'm going to I'm probably, I'm going to count by fives, actually. So I'm going to make this zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So the way you would do a line plot, this is the same data that was given in the frequency table. All you do is put an X at where it should go. So a 7 would be about right here, I put an X. A 10, right here, put an X. A 1, put an X. A 5, put an X. 14, 22, 6, there, 8, 0, 11, 13, 3, 4, 14, and 5. There is my line plot. <laughs> so typically on a line plot, I'm able to see more data to see which value has the most, uh, it occurs the most times. Why? Because it's taller than everybody else, right? 
So you can see that quickly. So I think a line plot's pretty simple. Could you would you be able to read a line plot? No, not yes, at all. No huh? It would <laughs> I couldn't see you total what the keys on the logic it looked forever. It's back, bro. Yeah. Back with the killer. <laughs> so, we have a frequency table, a histogram, and a line plot. That is all covered in 12-2. So, I'm done with 12-2. Moving to... That was the quickest lesson I've ever done. I'm pretty sure I taught y'all several 8th grade lessons in one day. That was a good 5 minutes. Yeah, that was. 12-3 is measure of central tendency. What, uh, what all that is, is mean, median, mode, range. What was mean? The average. The average. Add them all up, divide by? Number of numbers. The number of numbers you add. What is median? Median, the middle number. The middle number. How do you find a middle number, though? They have to be in order from greatest, greatest, greatest and then find the middle number. Um, mode, what does mode stand for? The one, that the most. Most. one that occurs the most. Okay, so measure of central tendency means mean, median, and mode. It is actually defined on your next slide, so you don't have to write it out. But I'm just in that much of an overachiever. I know, Jackson. You're just such a tedious student. I'm not. You figure yeah, we know, Grayson. <laughs> you gotta go to practice. And learn valuable Please math. don't get into Hi, this argument again. Us. I know. <laughs> you wanna get in this argument, Grayson? An outlier. So, if... <clears throat> What is that like? <laughs> so I don't just at least don't make sense. If you're I <laughs> told if you're an outlier in school, like I can't see. Uh, yeah, Maddie's an outlier. I have no friends because she has no friends. No, I'm an inliner. Uh, but she does have a boyfriend. So an outlier with a population of people, you are outside of ever, what everybody else has, right? Yep. Okay, so that's an outlier. Same concept as in with dealing with numbers. The data value that is much greater or less than other values is a set. Well, you could, so I can have an outlier that is a whole lot greater than everybody else, or I can have an outlier that's a whole lot less, less. than everybody else. Your range is your the difference between your largest number and your smallest number. I'm an outlier from what that thing. You're above everybody? Yep, I'm above everyone. You used to be extremely below. <laughs> yeah. And then he got his hair cut. Now he can finally see where Hey, Jackson, when you turn in here, take off this. Oh. In the box. Very nice try. It's not in my binder. If you would like to check. Your hair? Turn it in late. All your stuff is yeah. cut out. I'm sorry you broke your binder. It, it was hard. Are we <laughs> done with the definition? If you see on the next slide, I also defined mean, median, and mode. When it's you. Oh, you're welcome. When you use, this is a very good thing. This is when it's best to use. <laughs> when use me to describe the middle of the data set that does not have an outlier. So if I had 
a bunch of data and I had an outlier. So say I had, I took, had everybody on the sign and write your age down. And then I wrote, Myself here. Then I wrote my age down on the sign-in sheet. My age would be the outlier, right? Would you be so much younger than us? Yes. Thank you. No, I'm not. Um, so, say I had all of y'all's ages written down. Focus, guys, because this has been questions on the test, is when's best to use. I've seen it two years in a row. Okay? So if I'm... Keep moving. I keep moving. It's just more comfortable. Okay. So, all of y'all's ages is written down. How old are y'all? Oh. 13. 13. There's a 13 and 14. Any other ages? 12. I am 11. Shut up. Okay. So, 13, 14. If I was to raise your hand if you're 13, raise your hand if you're 14. So what's probably going to be my average if I added it all up and divided? 13.75. It's probably going to be really close to 14. Guys, stop being funny and focus. It would probably be really close to 14. But if I threw my age in there and took the average of it, what is that going to do to my average? Bring it way up or way down? Or change it much at all? It's going to bring it way up. So if your data has an outlier, does not have an outlier. Does our data have an outlier if I'm in it? Yes. It has one. So finding the mean would not be the best choice in this group finding the average because you have an outlier and my age is the outlier affecting the data. Does that make sense? Okay. Median. Your t median is your middle number. Putting them in order from least to greatest. Use median to describe the middle of the data set if it does have an outlier. So if I listed all my ages from 13, 13, 13, 13, and then all the 14s, and then my 31, and I went to the middle, most likely what's going to be my middle number? 14, because I had a whole lot of 14s listed here. So median, you use when you have an outlier. Mean, you don't use if you, wait, say it. You mean, if you have an outlier, do not use. Mode is used when the data is non-numerical. So can I have a data set of non-numerical? Yeah. Okay, I could. Um, New birthday mode. I could do months, April, May. Thank you, that's a wonderful. Um, I could do April, May, June, July, August. and I, So finding the mode would obviously be my average. Or choosing the most popular item. Well, uh, if I listed colors of shirt or Xbox games, most popular item. GTA. Whatever. PlayStation, my bad. Okay. Let's think of another data set. What, what's another data set we could use here? How how many brothers and sisters you have, okay? Think of that. Six. Not counting yourself. Six. So raise your hand if you have one. Sibling. Raise your hand if you have two. Raise your hand if you have three. Four. Do I need? You need to keep on going. Zeros. No, 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 no. Five. You? One more. Six. Any higher than six? Okay. Do I have an out? Focus. Do I have an outlier in that group? Who? He was four. He's six. That's not an outlier. It's right there with the set of data. An outlier would be like 20. Okay? So if I was talking about the siblings you have, what would be the best option to choose? Mean, median, or mode? Mean. Raise your hand if you think mean. 
I'm asking if we just talked siblings, right? Okay, did I have an outlier? Jackson's not an outlier. Six is right with the other data. 20 is like an outlier. Okay, so am I using mean, median, or mode with number of siblings? Mean. With the age, our ages, we would use median. With Fortnite, we would use mode. Kill, well, that's a number. With what you play it on, Xbox or PlayStation or PC? Or both. Wii. Wii. Okay, moving on. To refresh our memory on all of this, we have some bowling scores. And we need to find the mean, median, and mode. My scores, I want to list them in order from least to greatest. So my smallest score, yours is probably hard to read. My smallest is 104. Three times, huh? Oh, no, I lost it. What's after 104? 109. 109. 109, buddy. You're wrong. 113. Then what? I've got the mean. 117. I've got yeah. the mean, Miss Adams. Go put a staple over there. Here, you can see this. 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 139. Wait, 136. 139. Is that it? 117. So how many numbers? We have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. To find my mean, what do I have to do? Add them all up and divide them. Add them all up and divide them. Would you like the answer? When I do that, would you like the answer? I've got the answer right here. When I add them all up, what is my top number when I add them? I, that's my mean. That's not what I was asking for. Like what they all are combined? Yeah. 976. 976. What do I divide by? Eight. Where did I get eight from? The number of bowlers. Number of bowlers? It equals 122. And my mean is 122. Does that look like it falls in the middle? Yeah. Ish, yeah. Oh, My mode. What is mode? Most. Which would that be? 104. Does that look like it's the middle of all the data? No. Not really. Um. And my. Uh. What am I missing? Median is my middle number. Remember, median. You take it number by number. So that, 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 that. What happens if you have two left in the middle? Find the middle. You take, you take out. Uh, out the middle was here. You go in between them. I find the mean, mean of those two. So 109 plus 113 divided by what? Two. two. What is my median? 111. Wait, yeah. Wait, uh, you just yeah. No. Nope. If, if you have two numbers that fall dead center, it becomes 111. So pretty much I mean, if, you take the mean. Pretty much if you have an even set of data. If you have an. <laughs> you're such a freaking suck up. But yes, sir, you are correct. <laughs> if I have an odd set of data, I'm going to. Have an exact. I will have a middle number. I just noticed I'm on the board. What? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Tyrone. <Tom. laughs> I'm on the board. A lot of look. <laughs> so, can I finish and yes. people focus here? Yeah. It also asked which one would be best describe the bowling scores. Well, did I have an outlier? Yeah. 189 is considered an outlier. 
So should I use mean mode or median? Median. I should use median. The next problem is very nice to know. You will need to know this come next year when all your grades are numbered grades. Wait, how would you know? Why did you uh, square the median on the last one? Because the question asked Kyle which is the best one to use in this case, and it's median because it has an outlier. Okay, problem two is very handy to know how to do. Your grades on three exams, a lot better than Jackson's. Uh, oh. Your, sorry. A lot better. Your grades on three exams are an 80, a 93, and a 91. What grade do you need on the next exam to have an average of a 90 for four exams? These questions are so hard. No, they're not. <laughs> Okay, so how many tests are you taking combined here? Four. I made an 80, I made a 93, I made a 91. Have I taken the last test yet? I don't know what I scored on it. When I don't know what I scored on it, I always use the variable. Well, how many grades am I having total? Four. Four. What grade do you need to make on the next exam to average a 90? Finding the average is adding them all up, dividing by the number of grades you have, right? Yeah. We want an average of a 90. So to solve this, how, what would I solve first to get x by itself? Multiply both sides by 4. Yeah. Thank you. I'm left with, I can add all these three numbers up. What do I get, Jacqueline? These three? Um, 264. 264? Yeah. Plus x equals? 360. Thank you. 360. So what do I do to solve this? Subtract 264. Subtract, I get x equals? It equals 96. So you would have to make a 96 on your test, fourth test, to keep a 90 average. So have I made the problem easier for you, Landon? Moving on. Problem three. The closing price in dollars of two stocks for the first five days in February are shown below. What are the range and mean of each set of data? Use the results to compare the data set. All right, so stock A, I have to find the range. What is range? It's the lowest number to the highest number. Range is the difference between the greatest and the least. What is my greatest? 47 minus my least is 25. 25. Subtract that and I get 22. <laughs> to find my range of stock B, what is my highest? 36. 36 minus my lowest? 28. 28. And my range is then? Hold on, give me a second. 8. They also wanted the mean. The mean means the average. Well, when I add all one, two, three, four, five numbers up, five numbers up. Yeah. Wait, is most of the EOC made up of chapter 12? Or what chapter? See what? I think I have this off of first hour. Chapter, chapter nine. 9 is like the hunk of it. Okay, but what they use, what they do, is since that's the hunk of it, they use all these other chapters that you have to know how to do in order to do chapter nine. So they're gonna give you 
some chapter 12 stuff on a chapter 9 problem and expect you to know how to do it. I don't know if I'm the answer. What up? What is it? 160? Yep. Divided by 5? Yep, and they both have the same mean. And it gives me 32. My mean here gives me 160 divided by 5, which equals 32. So our range, that's odd. Our difference in our values is 22 to 8. But they both average the same thing. How is that? They average the same numbers and they know have the same numbers. Divide by the same, same amount of numbers. Same. I mean, like, I don't know how you explain that. Right. Hey, buddy. Where you going? You know why that desk is still there? Because I've already told like five kids they're not sitting in it. Oh, really? Yeah. He wasn't leaving. So, moving on. <laughs> to the next problem. What did they give me my data in this time? The line plot. They gave it to me in a line plot. They want me to find the mean, median, and range from this data. Okay, well, I essentially, for the median, what does median mean? Middle. Middle. I essentially need these listed in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have a one, a one. How many twos do I have? I have four twos. How many threes do I have? One, two, I'm taking your word for it. Six. I thought I was bringing you. You're not learning the most important part. Oh, they're very terrible students. And people. I need to find my mean. I need to add them all up and divide. Lord, how many numbers do I got? 18, here? you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, You've got 18, 10, 11, and the answer is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No. So, the mean is three. I have over 18. It's what does this add up to? 54. 54 divided by 18 three. gives me a 3 is my mean. My median, did you figure the median out? Um, Median falls in the middle of two numbers again. It's three. So three plus three is divided by two. Three. So my median is three. What else they want? The range. <laughs> what is my range in numbers? Five minus one equals four. There's my range. Uh, you have a B on there? How can you tell from the graph that the mean and the median are equal? They're e they're like a they're oh, of, so oh they're of uh, part there's so many they're they're the they, Look, it, it's what we just learned. Um, freak. Um, they're reflective. Yeah, they're reflective. 
Like they're the like they're, the one has two, five has They've got the same number of fives and ones, and they've got the same number of twos and fours. Kind of an axis of symmetry. Yeah. yeah, yeah I no. know the mean and the median are the same because there are two here, four here, so that means the mean and the median would both fall on the three level. That's how I know. And symmetric is the key you were looking, the word you were looking for there. Uh. Moving to five, um, the results of some, the same quizzes given two different classes are shown <laughs> shown below. So we got a first hour, first and a hour, fifth hour. Fifth hour. All right. <laughs> it says. Dog class A. Which class has a standard for being in the top half of the quizzes shown? Class A or Class B has a higher standard of being in the top half. B or A? Class A is more people. Class A. I, I'm asking A or B, and I'm here in fifth a. hour. <laughs> <laughs> I need more answers than that. Look, like it's a trick question. A. B. Uh, are you using any common sense there, Jackson? No, it clearly I'm, says higher standards of the top half. Top half is at this end of the graph. I know it's B, Who but has I more it's higher question. standards? Speaking Obviously, of, class B. Draw a line. You don't know that because, like, look at the left side. It has a lot more. <laughs> that's not good. That's like an F. That's like a seven. That is like a seven. My grade is not on this. My grade is not on this chart. Yes, it is. So. <laughs> Y'all learned bell curves? Okay, so there's this thing called a bell curve that you could, we could get into, but it's really tragic. So a bell curve is any graph of statistics that makes a bell shape. You know, like a old timey bell, like where it goes like a- Like the Liberty Bell. Wow. Oh dear. This could be tragic. <laughs> 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 Dang, dude, that is long. I'm doing a bell, like the bell. The bell. Um, so, the bell. They call it a bell curve. My God. <laughs> Back to me. So it's a bell curve. It makes the curve generically like this. Your EOC test, they give you a score based on the bell curve. So they lay out all the scores of Algebra 1 students. It's going to fall on a bell curve because are you going to have fewer people probably score bad, fewer people probably score really good, and then you're going to have a bunch in the middle, right? Typically how a test goes. So it's a bell curve. What they do from that, when they lay it out on a bell curve, then they're going to see how much is in this lower section to see if they can push it up for you to pass. So that's how I explained to you all the other day. You need the high school freshmen to score really low. That way there's more X's on this side so they can give you more points to push you up into the main section of the belt. So doesn't it like if if like a like majority of the people miss like one question and like take it out or something like that? Um, so, yeah, sometimes. It depends on how many. Yeah. If there are two people that miss one question, go. I mean, a hundred. Majority. Um, but I'm a hundred people isn't going to be a majority either. We're talking the whole state of Louisiana. Oh, really? Yeah. The, the, so they lay out all the whole state of Louisiana's test scores on this curve, and they're seeing if they can push y'all up anyway based on the bell curve. They're trying to help us. They're trying to. They're my dogs. Because they can't have, they can't have, they, know, they, don't they, they can't have 45% of the cells. They don't have enough room to keep. You're going to have to learn eventually. All right, so... That was problem five. I'm on the second page. No, I'm not. Am I? Well, the answers are already right there. Yes, 90 risk one is 
Find your wrist. Wrist. Find your wrist. Activate it now. You only have an hour left. Only yeah, an hour. I feel like I left off some notes here. She would have one risk instead of 90. Oh my gosh, I just texted her. I'm on your I think that you should just keep it. Slide. It's on here, huh? No. Nope, never, no worries. Nope. Yes, it is. They stapled it wrong. That darn slide. Wow. What the heck? What the heck, dude? Do this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Then you're finding the median of your top half. That's your Q3. Then you're able to draw your box and whiskers using these points. I would draw my box here with a line in the middle there with whiskers. So let's do one. Problem one, we're going to draw one. Is my data values in order? No. So I first need to do that. So I have 75, 80, 125. That's 126. 126. 135. 140. 140. 140. 350. Is that all? My bad thing. Okay. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to kind of circle my people or whatever. So who is my minimum? 75. That's my min. Who is my max? 350 is my max. Okay. I have to do this. Who is my... My median, it falls between two, right? Okay. So, how do I find median if it falls between two? Okay. Yeah, uh, so, I circle those two. I have to take the average of those two. What do I get? Oh. Nah, hold up, hold up. Uh, oh. 130.5. So I'm going to write 130.5 here. That is my Q2 or my median. Okay, I have an even amount of numbers. I'm going to draw a line right here because that was where 30.5 fell between those two, right? Uh -huh. Now I need to find a median of the bottom half. So it looks like the median ends up being these two numbers, right? So I have to find the mean of these two to find that. 102.5. I get 102.5, which is my Q1. Then, oh crap, I have this, which I don't need to do any math because what's the average of that? Oh my gosh, One. I don't know. 140 is my Q3. Huh? Dude, they didn't bring that speaker at home. Give me the box. Shouldn't I adjust and use the median? I did use the median. Oh, the 30.5? Okay, now I can have, oh there, have my line. What do y'all want to count by? Oh Lord, we're, let's count by 25, huh? We'll oh, go 30s. 75, 100, 125. Oh dear. Don't tell me I'm going to have to write a line. I'm on a roof. 75. Just go back 50. No, I'm talking about on the, on the, on the y-axis. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You ain't got no room, Seth. You ain't got no room? I ain't got no room on the y-axis. We're not... No, I'm saying like up and down. Oh, I, I vertically. Line, I yeah, room, like I'm being side smart. Side. That'd be horizontally? Um, jeez, Manalis. I should have counted by something else. It is... It's yeah, screw that. I'm coming up. 275. You have to write anything under it. Oh. 300. I got this. 325. I'm done. 350. Now, to make my box and whisker, I am going to put a point above my minimum, which would be 75. Agree? So I put a point. There, no, the tip of his whisker has a little point. 
I put a point at my quartile 1, which is 102.5, so pretty much right on it. Then a point at 130.5, which would be meh, here. Then a point at 140, which would be here. And my max of 350. Oh dear, his whiskers are all jacky up. So, your inside three boxes, get some lines to create the box. There's my box. Connect his whiskers. Poor thing has, uh, he's walking sideways with his whiskers. He's giving me a trim. He's an autistic whisker. Hey, don't make fun of whiskers. Do you know whiskers keeps uh, dogs and cats balances? Really? Yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking this, yeah. I think it's more of a cat than it is a dog. I would do that to my dog. Uh, now, cats can have their whiskers shaved. My cat I mean, was, dogs can have their whiskers shaved. My cat was in a tree for like three months and it came down. But to I'm thinking this cat here is walking sideways. And I just there. drew a box in whiskers. So, 25% of my data is in this whisker here. How? So is that data spaced out or bunched together? Spaced out. Spaced out. What about 25% of my data is here? Bunched it's bunched together. Here is 25% of my data. How is that? A little more spread out and a little spread out. But nope. your data is real spread out right here. It's because it's got an outliner. It's boom. Outlier. Liar. Not liar. Oh, my bad. But okay. I was trying. Moving on. Yay. I wish I could get that in the classroom. Okay, you try and create a box and whisker from this data. Actually, don't do this one, do the got it one. It's smaller number. Thank you, you're so nice. I know. <laughs> Wait, where, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd this go? It's on, the, it's on the, yeah, remember they stapled your part of it? Oh, yeah. They're mental. Get it, Zion. I mean, not Zion. Shot, right <laughs> You're on the team. Huh? You're on your on the basketball team. Bro, he can have a shot. Doesn't mean he's better than Wait, so actually, we make that he only gets. Everyone makes the first mistake that first time. Hey, if you get a shoot at three, we get five bonus points. How about this? I get to shoot a layup, and if I make it, everyone gets How about you fake to finish your box of mushrooms? Y'all, please see how that was, bro. Yeah. 
Did she carry it to the park for you too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad carries it for you? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad ties his shoes. Turn around, The second, uh, the 16. 14. Wait, 14. Yeah, 15 is. 15, my middle one. Yeah, it is. No, it's these two, huh? Uh-oh, there's nine. There's nine. Is it 14? It's 14, my middle? Yeah. Yeah, there's nine. No. Yes. Oh, snap. Oh, that's up. I missed What up. is the problem? Four, eight, and 25, nine, and 16. Thanks, and Gil. 16. It's 14 and 15. My bad, I messed up. I'm sorry. So there's. Ah! Where are these units at? Like, what are they? Like, I cannot find the problem. Shocking. First hour. He wasn't here yesterday for all that. So what is in between 14 and 15? 14.5. 14.5. So I'm going to put that here um, at 15. And I'll That's do that. That's why I got it wrong. I forgot to put the 14. Then 9 is my other one, and 16 is my other one. Wow, I just found it. And, oh, Lord, 16. So my oh dear, this is the ugly box and whisker. Oh, Grace, I didn't know you had a box and whisker. There's some ugly dogs out there and kitty cats. Hey Zane. There's What's my up, box and whisker. Okay, moving on. 
Problem three. I left the answer on there. It says use the box and whisker plot below. What do the interquartile ranges tell you about the average monthly rainfall for each city? All right, so Miami, my interquartile range, that's your box part of your box and whisker, whiskers. Miami's average rainfall is here. Guys, these are serious questions on the set. This, no, please. This is my interquartile range for Miami. This is for New Orleans. And we're talking average monthly rainfall. So what is this telling me about the different rainfalls in the city? There's more, more rain more. in Miami. No, there's not. There's a lot more in New Orleans. That doesn't... More consistent. New Orleans is more consistently falling between how much? Five, five inches and, five six, and six inches. Whereas, mm -hmm. if I'm living in Miami, am I going to be able to tell approximately how many inches? Yes, yes but it's a wide spread, so I know chances are it's going to fall between like two and a half and seven. So New Orleans is more consistent. I've seen a problem like that on that test. Should be an easy one. Problem four, 25 test score, eight are less than or equal to 75. What is the percentile rank of test scores for 75 questions? So to find this, is she sleeping? Why are we leaving? Y'all parks it. Oh, and your mind's in late 12. My bad. That's my yeah, yeah. Bye, buddies. Bye, Grayson. Bye, Zane. Bye, Connie. Bye, Bye, Zane. Landon's leaving too, I guess. Wait, Landon, what are you doing? No, not you, him. Okay. What? When did Lucy leave? Oh, Jackie, don't forget your time. Where did Cameron and JC go? And Lucy. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't hear the sign Yeah. I might leave if a lot of don't give me no food. All right. Um, I have not seen percentile rank on the test, so I'm good at avoiding that. I want to go to the other packet. Oh, we got to write those? Yeah, um, I would write... You don't have to write all of them, it's for you. I would write the ones that you don't know. Your lower extreme is your men, your Q, um, not a Q. Upper extreme, obviously, would be your max. Lo lower quartile, that's your Q1 in your box plot. Upper quartile, that's your Q3. Inner quartile range Q1 to Q3? is subtracting that. Oh, 
to find a range value. don't have your graphing calculator out, I'm going to be going into graphing calculator in a second so you can get it out. That's why I'm talking to people that's finished. That's why you're always... Wait, when did we get that out? What? I, I was talking and then... Dude, I'm starving. Do you have any food that they would like to donate to the Jackson Foundation? Grayson. Huh? Grayson. Me and Grayson got out of the first hour. Yeah. Fifth hour. Or fifth hour. Yeah. 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 It was getting Baseball. kind of uncomfortable. Baseball? Yeah. About who's better? Are we good or are we still? You know you could copy this down, you know when I send out the link since you follow my sixteen year old team. Yeah, I'm talking you too. You probably have like twenty subscribers. I'm probably up with people talking about the last one because everybody's sharing my name. The word getting out there that the math drops and started going live on the web. I can't believe you actually You know all you gotta do is start streaming on Twitch. Get Ninja, get Ninja to help you. Okay, so if you're not done, get it from the YouTube. I want to go into this. Um, we already went through this, so I think I'm good. Well, let's, no, let's do it. Um, if you have a calculator, somebody took my child. I'm done. Yeah. I need to add these all up. Are they in order from least to greatest? Conveniently not. Well, I want to save this for last if I have time. So let's go to box and whisker plots. They have two box and whisker plots already done for me. And they're asking questions about it. So let's, this is how it's going to rock and roll on the EOC. What is the median of each set? Where would the median be on a box and whisker? Middle. The middle. Well, conveniently, both lines are lined up, so what is the median of each set? 70. 70. What plot has a lesser range? What is range? Range is your greatest minus your a least. So which one has the lesser range of value? A. Which plot has a greater interquartile range? What is interquartile? Your box plot, uh, your bar, ooh, your box <laughs> plot is part of your plot. <laughs> B. So, which one has the greater one? B. B. What is the upper quartile of each set? What is the upper quartile? Well, these two points, that's my lower. Here's my upper. 70. So, what? 100. Oh, I read the wrong one, my bad. Upper quartile is this, right? Mm -hmm. That's my uh, upper, that's an upper extreme. I knew it was wrong. Upper quartile of each. So, of A, what is my upper quartile? 85. A? Wait, oh, I thought you said Is that 80? What is that B? 85. What is the lower extreme, there we go, of each set? So, A, what is my lower extreme? 40, 50. I keep looking at B. 
Well, you keep you always look at something different from the answer. Mm, she's throwing that shade at you. <laughs> what is the lower extreme of B? Forty. Good job, Kyle. A uh, big question here. What percent of data in plot B is between 60 and 85? What percent of data is between that? 25. I just went over there. What, Alana? 50. Why 50? Because it's 25 and 25. Each section represents 25%, so between 60 to 85 is 50% of your data. Very good. Seven, what percent of data in a plot A is greater than 80? All right, so plot A, what percent is greater than a, uh, 80? 25%. 25%. Number eight, what percent of data in plot B is less than 85%. 75%. Very genius. 75%. Less than 85. 75%. I just think I have another paper. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm looking at the stem and leaf plot. Have they plot this to you in no. the grade? I think I learned how to do this copy of the A stem and leaf plot, they always put a key. So a 7 2 represents 72. So what does a 7 4 mean? 74. So all of these, I have a 52, I have the 54, I have a 56, I have a 58, I have a 61, I have a 65, I have a 68. So you understand the stem and leaf? Very okay. much so. Huh? Very much so. Okay, good. It's pretty easy to read. They said, what are your highest and lowest scores on the test? So, A, what was my highest score? Um, 96 is my highest. What was my lowest? Uh, 52. <coughs> Seven. <coughs> <coughs> my score's not on the test. What I'm test score occurred most frequently? 74. We agree. I agree. Seventy-four. Oh, in yeah, which ten-point intervals did most of the students score in? Seventy. The seventies. That's like middle. What's that place? Like? How many students received a score of seventy or better? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, four, five, three, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, ten, six, thirteen. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many students received a score less than 70? Seven. Pretty simple, huh? Okay. I'm going to the histogram at the bottom, which is basically a bar graph, but it uses intervals. How many students total took the test? Well, how many is on this bar? Two. Two. This one is five. five. This one's eight. This one twelve. This one six. So how many total took the test? That kind of threw me off. Right there. I ain't got a calculator in front of me. How many total took? You add them all up. Thirty-three. 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 Are we going to trust Kyle Young on this? All right. How many students scored at least a seventy-one on the test? Twenty-six. So eight plus twelve plus six. Twenty-six. Is it? Yes. Can you determine the highest grade from the histogram? No. Why? Uh, it's, just not it's in a range, so no. Okay, 
Okay, the lovely part about all this, if you look at this page, this can be done on your calculator and it can give you all this information. So, this is instructions for a TI calculator. Casio calculators, all you do is go to stat and you would follow the same rule. Okay, so if you have your graphing calculator, you would go to stat, you would enter all of that information into the L1 column, like their picture showed. Then, what? You don't. I said go to stat on the calculator. Oh dear. So you enter. <laughs> you enter all your. Please focus. You enter all your stuff in one column. Then you would hit the count button. Their stats. Bar stats. It's going to give you all of these symbols. We need to go over what these symbols mean. So. If you, here is my key here, so you need to know what these symbols mean if you're wanting to do it in the calculator. So, if I did all of this and I got it on my graph and pulled up bar stats, it's going to give me these symbols. These symbols mean different things. The X with the bar over it, the 75.3, means your mean or average for the data. This is the sum symbol. Remember my shirt, I ate some pie and it was delicious? It used this sum symbol. That's the sum. So your sum of the data, is, what does sum mean? Add. It added all the data for you. So they got 1205 when they added it. The N stands for the number of values you entered. So you entered 16 values. The min X is obviously your minimum value or your lower extreme. Q1 is your quartile one. Median is your, uh, see here you're going to be scrolling down because it's going to give you all sorts of data. Um, Thanks for joining us, Landon. Bye, buddy. No one loves you. Oh, I'm really low now. Um, it's like flushing a goldfish down the toilet. That's your sister. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm about to do job like this because my back. So you see, you see the little statement down here. The calculator will not give you what? Mode and range. Mode and range. You have to find those by hand. Darn the luck. Mode and range is the easiest ones I have to do myself. I know, the easiest ones. Connor, you're so amazing. Thank you, Jackson. I know. Just kidding. I get to look at myself in the mirror every morning and look at him. He's already better than I am. What, is Connor looking in the mirror too? Yeah. If we're both looking at this, Connor's definitely getting better. It's not amazing. Exponentially increasing. So. For you to practice all of that and on and practice using your calculator. How convenient you got a new calculator, hi Al. No, how convenient. Uh -huh. Wait, we have to do this. Is this someone's dinner? Huh? Yeah, we're I'm wrapping, I'm done.